Good morning, everyone. This is Louisa Bed from Hot Queensland, Sunshine Coast, Australia. Today we are talking about how to type Chinese characters. First thing you need to add Chinese font. Go to Control Panel. I'm using、um, Window Eight. I'm still in Chinese characters.、Um, go to Control Panel. Click Language. If you only have English, then you click Add Language. Already add Chinese.、Um, go to C. Click Chinese Simplified. Now, if your teacher asking you to install Chinese、uh, Traditional, you do so. Chinese Simplified. Open it. There's two choices: Simplified China, Simplified Singapore. Are using Simplified China? Again, listen to your teacher's instruction. Already add that one on. So you click add, then you have two languages. Okay, and now in your two bars down the bottom, we will have a a language bar. You click on that, you can change from English to Chinese. So let's change to Chinese. Now you can type pinyin ni hao. You don't have to type tones in there. Then click space bars. It will come up. So ni hao is a word hello. So if an English is one word, Chinese two words, you can keep continually、um, typing. Let's type another word. Let's say China, Zhongguo, Z H O N G G U O. Now the word Zhongguo will be most frequent used word. It will be in the first one, and then you do space up in here. However, sometimes the word, for example, 我是 I am. Also, there will be another phrases、um, have the same pronunciation in Pinyin. W O S H I. Now, 我是 I am is more frequently than this one. What she, which means living room. Of course, you choose one. I am. Now, some words like Australia, Australia is one phrase in there. So type them all together. A U. Ao. Da. D A. Li. Ya. Ah,、oh, I made a mistake. Australia is A O. Now, if you the first word is wrong, then you will never get the phrase out. It just I have to go back to the first two. A O D A L I L I Y A. Australia. The first word is space. Now, if you don't type like that, can be very、um, taking a lot of times and taking a lot more times than that. For example. A O and、uh, the first one O is correct, so you have to go and choose the correct words. Da, the sec, the first word is correct again. Goodness me, Li. Now, you have to choose the correct Li, which is the five, and then Ya. Now you have to co- choose correct Ya. It's so much easier if you type all together. Now, that's if you know the pin. At the beginning, just have a pin right next to you. A O. D A L I Y Y Y A Australia spacebar. Okay, so that's a trick. If one word in English, type together and make sure you type correctly and choose the correct phrase. Okay, but sometimes the word is、um, let's just type my name Liu. Well, common surname. That's why it's up in there. And then E. Goodness me. My E is this one. My Chinese name is in here.、Um, however, Liu Yi is not a common phrase. I would, I'd hope they are, but not anymore. Oh, you know what? Because I'm typing my name so often, they will actually remember which one is you, common user. So they will be in there. But most likely, they will choose something else. And then, if you cannot find the phrase, then you have to do it one at a time. My name is up in here. Great.、Um, the other thing, 
That's the second thing, how to tie. The third thing is how to add a pin on top of your um, characters. I have installed um, I have installed MY Microsoft MSPY 2010. Um, this software enabled add pin on top. So what happened is this. If I highlight this, my word, then I go to this ABCA, it's called Phonetic Guide. Now, if you haven't installed MSPY 2010, you cannot, um, you don't see there is a Phonetic Guide in there. So I click Phonetic Guide. Here we go. Ta da, I didn't type anything. Um, Ni hao, with the tones and everything there. The only drawback is the size is a 5.5. And so what I'm going to do is before I'm actually add pin on them, I'm going to change this size into at least at least 16 or uh, 18. Let's change to 18 so easy to see. And then I click phonetic guide. Now the size is naturally 9, which is great. You can change the bigger. However, it tend to um, has too big a size in the end you lose it. Let me show you what I mean by that. For example, Zhongguo, I highlight it, I get a phonetic guide. Ah, 5.5, too small, I want size 9. Okay, now, it's all right in here for just two words. It didn't squeeze anything out. However, if I highlight the whole sentence, no, I can do that. And then I'll change all of them into 9. A bit lazy. Okay, I don't want to do it all the time. So I do it in one go. Oh. You know what? They do it for me again. Let's make it even bigger. <laughs> Change the connected guide into uh, size 14. They did it again. They don't squeeze out. But check it out, okay? Sometimes if your pin is so big that you s a couple of words squeeze it out, okay? Now, so that's three, how to install the pin on top. Now the fourth one is, I'm going backwards in there. I will show you how to get MSPY 2010. I know, let's go and get a uh, Google up and type MSPY 2010. Uh, free download. This one, Pinion Joe, help you how to install a lot of um, useful things when you're learning Chinese. This is um, shows you the instructions, how to do, what to do. Okay, um, because once you go to the Microsoft.com China Pinion in there, it will be all in Chinese. So read instructions in there. And all the other ones are have the same instructions, have the same thing in there, please. So please read the instructions in here. I will um, give you a link in there. Um, for example, let's go to have a look. That means download now. It goes through Microsoft Pinion website now. Loading, loading, loading. Here we go. Now, this word, li ji xia zha, means download now. Don't worry, it all looks in Chinese to me. It's great. So, click on that. Let's see if our, our mine is working because I already downloaded. Um, and once you download it, you don't see anything else. All you see is you go to your Word document, you see this little thing, phonetic guide in there to help you add in PIN in there. Um, if it doesn't work, please restart your computer. 
Once you have the pinyin there, it's so much easier. You can type Chinese. Um, you can put a pin in there. The only thing there is is um, sometimes you cannot change the characters um, if you group them together. For example, um, you can't change just one word. You have to clear your phonetic guide and then you change one word. Enough information there. Today I'll show you one, how to install the Asian Chinese font. Two, how to type Chinese. Three, how to type, uh, put a pin in there. Four, how to install the MSPY 2010. So you have this phonetic guide for you in there. Let's try it straight away and um, see how you go.